everyone, my name is Sibert Bren and today we are talking about Storyboard Pro. So as you might know, it's February this month, so I'm dedicating all my videos to storyboarding. And this week, what we're going to talk about are the tool presets. Now I know I already made a video about it in Harmony, but it's a bit different in Storyboard Pro. Actually, there's more options, so I thought I'd make a video in Storyboard Pro as well. So first, what are tool presets? Tool presets are basically a preset that mixes the tool, the color, and some more functions uh, together into one very useful button. So by default, the software comes with a bunch of tool presets. And to see them, it's really simple. You either go to like Windows toolbar and you find the tool preset toolbar, or you can right click and just make it appear as usual. So right click tool presets and just make it appear. Mine is a bit far here, so I'm just gonna take it and put it in the middle so that it's easier for you to see. So the first one here is rough. If I click on it, it's gonna add a layer called rough. And then I can just draw on it it already gave me a blue vector brush. So even if I had something else selected, if I go here on this panel and I press rough, it's going to create my new layer and give me the preset that I set it in there. Very useful. Not all presets are gonna create layers, however. So the clean brush that I have here or the shading brush that I have here, they don't create layers because it's not necessary. And here I have the revision brush. So if I'm doing revisions on a project, I can go on the panel, click here and add a revision layer to say, hey, you forgot the glasses or something, I don't know. So very useful to work with tool presets. So let's say that you're working on the Ninja Turtles. You know, there's four turtles and they all have their own colors. You could have a preset for each so that if you're working on a scene and you need to add one of them, uh, let's say, oh, I need to add Raphael. So I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna add a layer for Raph and it's gonna always draw in red. So, you know, very useful. I love my tool presets. <laughs> all right, so how do you create one? It's very, very complicated. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you're gonna get the tool that you want, for example, my brush tool, and then you're gonna select the brush that you want. So I'm gonna go find pipe cleaner because it's my favorite. And then I'm gonna go select a color for it. So I wanna get a nice cyan color. <laughs> Press plus to create it. I will give it a name just because I'm organized. It's gonna be a C cyan. And then this is my color. So you get your tool, you get your color, and then you go to the button, new tool preset, you press on it. Then you're gonna have that beautiful window. So that window includes many different features. You can give a name to your preset. The name is what you're gonna see when you go over the icon. So it's gonna be, for example, Z, rough, there you go. And then you can go here and give it a an icon. You can make your own icon by going in the folder and saving it. Usually I don't bother, but you could. <laughs> Just gonna use this blue Thing. You can assign a shortcut to it. To do that, you choose one of the numbers. There's 10 from 0 to 9. And then if you want this to be assigned to your button, you just have to go into like uh, edit preferences and set it into the shortcut menu. Then you choose if you want the color to be recorded. Because sometimes you don't need a color, you just need a tool. If you want to get a preset for your cleanup, you can just have the cleanup brush, but you don't care what the color is. So that's why you don't have to activate it all the time but this time I'll have it. This is the trick that I did when I press on the button and it creates a layer. Just so you know, if you want this to be there, you need the layer in your list here. So just make sure you create the layer that you want before. You can decide what type of layer it is. Um, and then there's two options you can activate. There's draw behind and auto flatten, if you need that. I like the draw behind option because that's what I would give to a preset that I would use to make mask behind my characters, for example, right? So if I wanted to be like a white mask preset that I'm gonna use that or shading for it to go behind the line art or something so in normally I would activate it but not now and then that's it so here I'll have my preset um, I did forget to give it the right layer so I'm gonna click on the gear here you'll get my Z rough and you can delete it by just clicking on the trash can you can also import and export your preset so if you want to export them you just click and it's gonna import the one you select uh, somewhere on your computer it's gonna make an XML file and then you can just import it by going and get that very XML file if you need to. Um, also, if you made a modification, you could also update it, right? So I'm just gonna create my new layer. I'm gonna call it Z, <laughs> rough. And then I'm gonna go here, new tool preset. And then I'm gonna make sure that I have my tool and my color, go here and do the same thing from before. I'm just gonna call it Z, rough. Use the Z, rough layer and all that and then give it the color that I wanted. Press OK. And there I have my Z-Rough preset. Amazing. It also works with the pencil tool. So it's gonna make it pencil instead. And um, yeah, so that's it for the tool presets. I hope that you liked it and that you're gonna have fun making your own tool presets to make your project easier. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.